want to go to the story, Joe, of the song, Christmas in Our Hearts. Paano, paano mo binuo ang awit na ito? The melody itself, boy, was composed in 1988 to a poem written by my good friend, Chari Cruz Sarate. Ang Tubig Ay Buhay, which he used as a, you know, college jub no, high school jubilee song. Okay. So I wrote that melody, and I never thought that two years later, I was going to use that melody for, for a Christmas song. When Universal Records, the recording company that I record for, approached me and said, it's time we do a Christmas album because of the success of Beautiful Girl, Please Be Careful With My Heart, My Girl, My Woman, Constant Change. <laughs> yeah, so then I thought of that melody and I got a friend of mine, Rina Kanyisa, to come to the house. I gave her the melody and together we worked on the lyrics. So that's the wonderful. Birth. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Rina uh, collaborated with you on the lyrics. Sa letra ng kanta. Yes. Okay, so after you did the song, go ahead with the story. You, you, you asked some people to yes. sing the song with you. Yeah. Uh, at that time, Lea Salonga was a hit from because of Miss Saigon. So I approached her and asked her if she would do a duet with me. And Sabina, yes, I'll be glad to. She heard the song. And she liked the melody, she liked the words, except that her recording company would not allow her to record okay. for a competing label. Oh. So my next choice was Monique Wilson, who was an understudy of Miss Saigon. At and that she, time, I was managing Monique. Okay. <laughs> and I like her. She's a, she's a very nice person with a beautiful voice. Unfortunately, <laughs> that weekend, she went to Tagaytay and you know the story. Yes. She lost her voice. No, no bosses. She called me. So sometimes I guess the Holy Spirit was leading me towards my daughter. <laughs> right. Yeah, because then she was, you know, since the Universal Records people were rushing, Joe, it's already October. We have to come <laughs> out with the, with, the, with the album. And so I went to my daughter's bedroom and I said, Liz, um, what are you doing? She says, I'm cramming for my exams. Okay, uh, can you learn the song quickly? Because I'd like to record this with you. Oh, okay, when? This Wednesday. <laughs> okay. And so to make a long story short, she and I went into a recording studio and the rest is history, it's history. boy. Tama ka dyan, uh, Joe. Pero Joe, when uh, you were doing the song, when you were writing uh, with Rina, when uh, you got that melody from another song Ang that Tubig you composed, ay buhay. Ang Tubig ay Buhay, did you have a sense that this was going to be a massive hit? No, I never expected it. As a matter of fact, the producers at Universal Records said, Joe, uh, masyadong Christian Christian song ang ano yung itong kanta to. Why don't you come up with a romantic Christmas song? And then when they heard it, she said, Yun, that's the one that radio will play. The romantic Christmas yeah, song. Yeah, without expecting that Christmas in our hearts would be a big hit. Jo, maraming mga composers, maraming mga batang kompositor ang nakikinig at nagmamasid sa ating pag-uusap ngayon. For, without having to be intrusive, you know, uh, for something as big as Christmas in our hearts, ang isang artist ba, ang isang kompositor, kumikita ba ng napakalaking pera? Uh, not anymore, boy. Not anymore because the technology has changed. Okay. Nobody buys records. Nobody buys CDs. Nobody buys cassette anymore. So we earn a little bit from Spotify, not too much. Right. And also from endorsements and doing shows. That's all. And of course, the thing is, pag nakikita ka na Joe, Pasko na. <laughs> and How nice to be associated with diba? the Christmas season. Right. I mean, it's the biggest season in the, in the Philippines, and it's the best-loved season.